Hey guys, what's up? I'm super excited to be able to talk to you guys more about what I do and who I am and just more about me and how I got to where I am today because so many of you have DM'd me and emailed me asking me pretty much how I started, um, how I you know started my account, how I got to where I am in my fitness journey and it's super difficult to be able to answer all of you guys um, individually so I thought I'd just make a YouTube and kind of address questions that all of you guys have generally had about me and about how I was able to lose weight that I had been struggling to lose for a very very long time. So for the people who had just started following me I'm not too sure if you know my story so I just thought I'd quickly share a little bit about myself. Um, I started my Instagram account actually as a fitness page. It was more like a fitness diary for myself because I had struggled with weight loss for a couple of years in college and I was really not feeling well at all. I struggled with things like depression, anxiety, I had headaches all the time, I was nauseous all the time, um, I felt like I couldn't really digest anything that I was eating, um, I always felt super fatigued, like I didn't ever want to go out or do anything, like I just didn't have that energy that I saw other people had, I guess, and it made me feel like there was something wrong with me for a very long time. And so for a while, I just had no idea what was going on. And so I created my Instagram as kind of a way to motivate me to become healthier. No matter what it took, I was going to kind of document it and see what happened with it. And it actually turned into my job, which is crazy. And I never in a million years thought it would be a job because back in the day, like five or six years ago, when Instagram came out, it wasn't really like a thing yet and no one was really using it like none of my friends were really on it yet at the time that I started it so yeah I was using it as a fitness diary it just kind of grew from there because it was my way of tracking my fitness progress I was constantly posting pictures of my progress and my transformations and healthy recipes and smoothies that I would come up with just like creative healthy food ideas that I would eat and test out for myself and other people seem to really like this idea of health and fitness so yeah looking back it was something that had really been super helpful to me because just having that type of public diary to motivate myself to go to the gym and work out was really really helpful and it was inspiring to other people so it really was something that you know interests me and continued to interest me as I continue to do it as for my own weight loss journey, I had struggled with PCOS, which is like a type of hormone disorder that a lot of females actually have. It basically messes up your hormones and it prevents you from, you know, getting your period and you can put on weight from it and break out a lot and lose your hair and suffer with depression, which I definitely did for most of college. That was something that was kind of also overpowering my desire to engage in a healthy and fit lifestyle and I thought it was pretty much impossible that I would be able to do it with this condition because so many people or I guess doctors had told me that it would be very very hard for me to lose weight that I had put on and it was really really discouraging because I thought there was no way I would be able to bounce back from the weight I had put on and I felt pretty much defeated because when I guess professionals tell you that you can't lose weight and you're pretty much stuck in this position you listen to them because those are the people that are supposed to be you know guiding you towards a healthier life and it just kind of weighed me down and I was listening to all these medical professionals telling me that there was no way that I would be able to get my body back that I did in high school and that I would have to go on all these medications. I had to go on birth control. I had to go on diabetes medication in order to regulate myself and in order to fix the problem that I was having internally. So for about two years, I was on a ton of medication. I was on three different types of hormone medication. I was on two different types of birth control almost in the same like time frame of like two or three months, which greatly messed up my my system. I was also on a diabetes medication that I wasn't supposed to be on, but this doctor had told me I had to be on it. 
and I felt extremely sick all the time. It actually made me feel worse and made me put on an additional 15 pounds. So I was really, really confused and frustrated because I felt like there was no way I was gonna be able to do this and no way I was gonna be able to see the results that I really wanted. And I was pretty much alone in this. Like, I mean, I didn't really, you know, have like a fitness buddy to go work out with or anyone to really support me. So that's also why I had turned to Instagram because there was a fitness community community forming on Instagram at the same time that this was happening. So it was kind of my way of like escaping you know, that reality aspect of it that I didn't have a support system and kind of going to social media to get that support system. And it actually was super therapeutic for me just to be able to document my progress on it. Yeah, so that's a little bit about my background before I lost the weight. So basically one day, what happened was I kind of just woke up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to stop taking all the medication that I'm prescribed right now and just try to research a way to do this naturally because I feel awful and I had been on medication for about a year and it was really messing up my body. I felt so out of my my body and out of my element. It was kind of like a band-aid to put over whatever was going on in my body and it wasn't actually curing the problem. So being on the medication was kind of freaking me out and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm not seeing any results. I don't feel better at all. So I'm just gonna look up a natural way to heal myself. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go back on the medication. For now, like I have to change something. So I spent like a week researching different ways to kind of cure my body and kind of regulate my hormones in a more natural way. And the top two things I read like almost instantly were exercise every day and eat healthy just eat as healthy as you possibly can and i i sort of ate healthy but i also ate a lot of junk food and sugar and processed garbage that i was adding into my diet and you know it was kind of canceling out everything that i was eating that was healthy i was just like you know what i have to do this because i don't want to live like this anymore and it i just snapped out of it felt so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired and i didn't have any energy left to feel that way. Like I just wanted to feel better and I knew I was gonna do whatever it took to feel that way, to feel vibrant and happy and energetic because as a kid, that's who I was and I lost that part of me when all of this sort of happened and I had put on the weight. I just kind of ran with it after that and I just woke myself up at 5.30 every morning, hit the gym, made sure it was a priority for me, and I made sure I went grocery shopping, I planned all my meals, I made sure I was eating healthy every single day, I didn't cheat on my diet, I think maybe once, once or twice I would have something that was like, you know, a sort of cheat meal type of thing. I was really, really, I guess, stricter on myself because I knew that if I wasn't, I wouldn't change and I needed that inner you know inner strength to just say you need to do this in order to feel better and it was definitely hard to stick to it but at the same time I knew that if I didn't I would fall back into this unhealthy tired depressed feeling that I had been suffering for almost two years and I had let myself get to a point where I didn't even want to like see people and I didn't even want to go outside and like meet new people or interact socially with anyone and it was really really toxic for myself so after stepping out of it and getting into a more strict routine about my diet and exercise i instantly noticed a difference and improvement in myself and my mood and after about a week of forcing myself to get up every morning super early I just made it a routine, it was a habit. I was able to wake up without even setting an alarm. It was just kind of instinctual. I was able to eat healthy because my body was suddenly adapting to the food. I wasn't addicted to sugar anymore. I was feeling like myself for the first time in years. And it was incredible because I didn't know the science behind diet and exercise and at the time, it was kind of foreign to people that I was talking to about it. So I knew what I was doing was right, and I knew what I was doing was really 
helping me. After going off the medication and I did go back to my doctors, they were very skeptical about what I was doing and they were kind of questioning me and making me feel like I was doing the wrong thing still and that I shouldn't have went off the medication, but I was just like, no, I feel amazing. Another huge thing that helped me lose weight was mixing cardio and weights. I was doing both um, cardio and weight training and combining them during my workout sessions and I saw dramatic results from doing that versus just isolating one or the other and saying I can only lift weights or I can only run on the treadmill. I always like to mix it up because I also get really bored at the gym if I don't. So I was running in the mornings and sometimes at night I would go lift weights or I would lift weights in the morning and then run right after I lifted weights in the same workout session. So I definitely recommend like mixing it up if you feel like you want to get that toned lean look and also feel really good and I feel like it's the most effective way to lose weight in a safe and healthy way as long as you're not overtraining yourself and as long as you're balancing the two. I never really followed like a strict regimen where I was doing A, B, and C at the gym and I had like, you know, a schedule in front of me of exactly what I was going to do, but my guides that I had put out, my fitness programs that I had um, sold for the last couple of years, that was just that was just the gist of what I would be doing in the gym every single day. It would be a mix of running and it would be a mix of body workouts or lifting weights. So I would be able to burn fat and tone in the same workout session. It would just feel really, really good and productive whenever I was at the gym. When people ask me, do you do cardio or do you lift weights? I always say, do both. Like, don't limit yourself to one thing because in order to see the best possible results, you have to you know, be well-rounded in the gym and be able to try new things and be open to doing new workouts and new routines. And like, I just started getting into yoga, which has also been really helping me just, even mentally, it's just like a type of meditation in itself, but it's also really good for your muscles and stretching your muscles out. And it's just, that in itself has kind of I see like I see a difference in in my body and the way it's toned and just in general just my overall flexibility has definitely improved so just be open to trying new things at the gym and always changing up your routine so the second thing I would definitely say is for me I completely cut out a lot of sugar that I was eating and I replaced a lot of things with healthy healthier 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 alternatives um, I stopped eating a lot of sugar and I stopped drinking soda juice my only the only thing that I was drinking was straight up water like I didn't really drink anything else um, occasionally in the morning I would have a coffee but it would be plain coffee no sugar no milk nothing added I was eating a lot of vegetables and a lot of protein at the time when I initially started my weight loss journey I wasn't vegetarian I was eating meat I was mainly just eating chicken though and some fish I was eating like salmon sometimes tilapia but I kind of X that out at a certain point and I really just focused on eating as clean as I possibly could and as I kind of changed I've just changed over the years and have changed my diet and kind of adapted it to my current lifestyle that I'm living now I cut out meat I was able to cut out meat quite easily actually because I was never a big meat eater to begin with but I was able to replace it with like more wholesome protein based vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, kale. It definitely made me feel more light and energetic. I wasn't as bloated and heavy. I usually feel kind of heavy after I eat chicken and it's because chicken is so dense in calories and it's also I guess processed in a certain way in the United States especially where it's just not really sanitary um, I mean there are different types of meat you can get like kosher meat that might be more sanitary than other types but for me just doing my research and seeing how it was processed kind of turned me off from it and 
you know, I also, I never want to like push it in someone's face that they have to eat a certain way or like go vegetarian or go vegan because I know when I was eating meat and someone would do that to me that was vegan or vegetarian, it was such a turn off. So I never want to like do that to anyone who does eat meat. It's just, I personally felt better when I didn't eat it. Okay, now the biggest piece of advice I have for you guys is if you're trying to lose weight, the best thing you can do for yourself is not focus on other people and where their progress is and what they're doing and what they're up to in the gym and if they have a nicer body than you. It doesn't matter. Just focus on you because that was the biggest thing that actually held me back and I didn't even realize it until after the fact that like I had spent countless hours on my phone browsing and looking at other people's bodies um, when I had been trying to lose the weight and I wasn't focusing on actually losing the weight. I was more concerned about where other people were in their journey and it was greatly slowing me down like to an extent that I can't even describe and I didn't even realize it because I was so sucked into it. But now looking back, it was something that definitely hindered my progress and made me less of myself and made me feel like I wasn't really good enough. And I know this doesn't apply to everyone because, you know, not everyone is looking at their phone all day, but I know a lot of people are, whether they realize it or not. And it's just something that I definitely recommend not doing if you're trying to really focus on yourself because it's a huge distraction and it definitely can get the better of you if you're not careful with it. You're not really paying attention to your needs and what you want to accomplish and you're more focused on what other people have already accomplished. So best piece of advice I can give you, focus on yourself, put the phone away, track exactly what you want to do and track down your goals and stop comparing yourself to other people, just zone out and focus on you for the next couple of months. And if you really put that energy into you and stop looking at what everyone else is doing and who has the best six pack on Instagram or whatever it is, you will see results and you will definitely see an improvement in yourself, both physically and mentally. Remember, mental health is just as important as physical health. And that's also something that a lot of people don't realize. And that's something that I didn't realize as I was trying to lose the weight for a while. I was super depressed and struggling with anxiety issues and I wasn't even addressing them because all I wanted was to look a certain way. So, I definitely recommend addressing everything going on in here before you start focusing on everything else and you know where you want to be physically because your mentality controls your actions and what you're doing and how how hard you're going to push yourself and how far you're going to go. So, I definitely think focusing on your mental health before you even start to engage on your fitness journey is tremendously helpful and definitely will help you during the process. Another huge tip that I have is not to deprive yourself completely of all junk food at all times during your fitness journey because I feel like that kind of traps you in a way where you feel like too restricted almost where you can't actually do anything other than go to the gym and work out. I never wanted to feel caged in and that's kind of how I felt for a while and every time I would end up binge eating and I would completely go off track and go 10 steps backwards because I would eat super healthy for like 10 days in a row and then like on the 11th day I would just snap and go nuts and be like oh my god like I need something sweet in my system. So I definitely don't recommend completely cutting out everything all at once and just going cold in that way. I know some people can do it, but for me that definitely didn't work. And having a balance was definitely the key to my weight loss. So I definitely recommend planning one one day a week just to have that day where you can, you know, be more flexible with your diet and set aside even one or two days just to kind of cheat a little bit. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video and how I got to where I am today and I hope my tips could help you in some way. I definitely know if I had someone to kind of tell me these things earlier on in my process, I probably would have achieved my goals even faster than I had. So I just really want to be able to share 
with you guys more about what I do and how I had gotten to you know where I am today and I really appreciate you watching this thank you so much let me know if you like this video and if you did please subscribe